Friends, I would like to dedicate this video to a special friend of mine. My friend, his name is Fred Zamoth. He's from Portugal. Fred uh, has been a friend, and he was one of the few people years ago that showed me how cool YouTube could be because you meet really good, awesome people from all around the world on YouTube. And I mentioned to you guys uh, many years ago, I was in a different industry, completely different. A lot of you would be surprised. And uh, for a while, I, ha I had a little channel that had just a little, a little tiny taste of uh, a little bit of, I guess, what you call could call success. But in the 2018, 2017, 2018, YouTube really changed a lot of the policies very quickly. And a lot of channels, especially smaller channels in that industry, got shut down. And uh, my channel was one of them. But uh, Fred, uh, I kind of lost touch with a lot of people, but Fred kind of found me again and we've reconnected and I've always really appreciated Fred. He's a good guy. And he wanted me to do a reaction to Eddie Vedder and the Earthlings uh, to their version of Purple Rain at the Beacon Theater, February 4th, 2022. Eddie Vedder playing Purple Rain. Gotta check this out. Of course, Eddie Vedder is from Pearl Jam. And uh, let's see what's going on. This is for you, Fred. And I appreciate you and uh, you're a good guy. You've always been a good friend. All right, then we got one more until we see you next time. that guy Is that a mannequin with a peacock behind it on the keyboard? That looks like Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers on drums.
this guitar solo going to hurt me? Okay, so when I hear of somebody, no, I'm doing this for my buddy Fred. Fred's a good friend. I'm doing it for Fred. Um, when I see somebody covering Purple Rain, I I naturally get very apprehensive. It's it's a song that you know there'll only ever be one Prince, and uh, it's just a song you gotta. To me, you kind of have to be careful when you go there. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest. Whether you guys want to hang me or applaud me, whatever, but. I have a weird relationship with grunge music, meaning I have much more of an appreciation for it now, but I remember when grunge music was coming in, I was into hard rock, I was into metal, and then all of a sudden, like it was like almost overnight, all the guitar magazines I would buy, and uh, it just, the music scene suddenly changed, you'd get your, you know, guitar magazines with, you know, all the guitar players that you really like, and you'd read little stories on them, little lessons, all kinds of cool stuff. And all of a sudden, it just changes all Pearl Jam and Nirvana. Um, I will say, right off the bat, the first time I heard Alice in Chains, I went out and bought... This is 1990. I went out and bought their album Facelift. I've always loved the band Alice in Chains. I always thought they were amazing. I always liked um, the guitar playing. Uh, I, 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 was, I was never um, a big fan of Pearl Jam. Uh, there's just something about Eddie Vedder, uh, his vibrato and his voice. I don't know. It just it just wasn't for me. But 
But then I heard a song that he did. It was was it Big Hard Sun or Big Cold Sun? Sorry, guys. And I loved it. I thought the song was brilliant. And I thought it was amazing. So that kind of woke me up more to Eddie Vedder and his talent. Um, this song, I, I'm pretty sure that was Chad Smith um, on from the Red Hot Chili Peppers on the drums. Uh, I don't know who the guy playing acoustic guitar was. I'm sorry. It looked to me, it looked like Chris Christopherson. Uh, I don't know who the other guy was who started out, he had a really good clean tone, and it sounded a lot like Prince's clean tone on Purple Rain. Got to give him that. Um, I'm going to be nice today, guys, because I'm doing this for a friend. Uh, I, you know, it's hard to not for me to be harsh when I see people doing covers of Purple Rain. They had a lot of spirit. The fans were really into it. Uh, being a guitar purist, there were some things about the guitar solo I wasn't particularly fond of. But the guy had a lot of enthusiasm and spirit, the way he played it, and he was in the moment. So I'm going to give him that with, uh, you know, everybody kind of being there and feeling the song. And uh, that is that. That is Eddie Vedder and the Earthlings, their version of Purple Rain. What do you guys think about this song? Uh, it's always a song I have to tread carefully with because uh, it's to me it's almost a sacred ground song, a magical song, uh, a song with a lot of history. And uh, I, I'm interested to see what you guys think in the comments. I, I'm, I'm, it is what it is. I did not not like it. You know, I think their intentions were good. Uh, there was a lot of... They're trying to get that feeling across. The audience was really into it. I uh, was not a big fan of the guitar solo. Uh, more on a technical, vibrato, some of the bending, some of the tremolo picking was... But at the same time, to be fair, the guy was... It was conveyed the emotion. He was really into it. And uh, that's my take on it. But for Fred, my good friend from Portugal, I hope you are doing well. And uh, I, uh, that's the song. So, awkward moment. <laughs> Remember, guys, keep the comments, suggestions coming. Remember, practice hard, but practice smart. We'll see you soon.